All right, so this is my 2006 Acura CSX. Um, only came out in Canada. I am Canadian, I am in Canada. Um, but it is built pretty much exactly like the FD2 uh, Civic Type R with the, you know, different style headlights and taillights. Uh, but today, we're gonna be doing a bunch of maintenance on this thing, installing a couple parts and uh, changing some fluids. So let's get into that. Alright, so here are the parts that I'm going to be installing and using on my CSX here. Got some LED backup lights. These should be good for nighttime to kind of illuminate a lot of stuff around there. Then we got some, I think these were camber bolts. Don't know if I'm going to use that because I got some two coilovers with the camber slots already in them. But I had these, so if I can install them, I will. Um, Got some O2 sensor defoulers, or oxygen sensor defoulers, whatever they call them, non-foulers. Got the OEM Honda fuel filter, need that, that's a necessity. Inner tie rod tool for the inner tie rods, Oops. as well as the outer tie rods. I heard these were uh, okay quality, so we'll see how those do. Then we got 5W20 synthetic oil, and lastly, got the good old AC Delco, um, the synchro mesh transmission fluid. Oh. This thing I'll be always doing is cracking the lug nuts loose. So here's the whole reason I'm doing the tie rods. That's gotta be like half an inch to an inch of play there, which is not safe. First thing we're gonna do is take off this nut. It's really not in focus, but. Okay, well that was not very hard to do. And now before I completely obliterate this uh, end link, I wanna make sure the new one looks similar and is actually going to line up and work. You gotta take off this nut here. I broke that loose with a 22 mil wrench. So now that that's spinning free, I can actually get this off. This came out with such little pressure, that's a little alarming. Uh, the inner joints actually feel really good. So I'm actually not even gonna change them out. Two links are like nearly identical, so I'm confident that the alignment won't be off too bad. Slide this up in here. Cotter pin is nice and tight on there, and now we're just gonna go tighten up this nut. Okay, that's probably tight enough. Cool. So that's all installed now, and it looks good, zero play. And I think while I'm on this side, before I put the wheel down, I'm gonna, oh, that's gonna be hard to see, but the oil filter is right, right up in there. So I think I'm just gonna drain the oil while I'm um, taking off the tie rod on the other side. Let's find out. Oh boy. Okay. Plug is gonna stay there. Oh boy, all right. Oh. Minimal spill, minimal spill, love that. Oil is nice and dark, that's so bad. So, Old oil and old filter are out. Got the new OEM filter here and the new drain plug washer. Oh, uh, we're gonna install that. That's gonna be good fun. You already know, we gotta fill this thing up with oil. I use this and I poured it in here and then I just kinda go around inside there and kinda get it saturated with oil. I put some. Sil I put a little bit of silicone on the on the seal just to help it so it's not dry when I'm tightening it down but let's get this in there up, up, and then right there
manual states 4.2 liters. So that's exactly what we're gonna give the car. So even though this side was good, oh you can see my coil over there. Um, even though this side was good, I'm still gonna replace it. Uh, it looks old, boot is very crusty, and I have the new one right here, so just gonna replace it. Oh, okay. That's loose! So now the driver's side tie rod is all in and I'm going to work on getting the O2 extender in. Alright, cool. So this is the O2 sensor defouler or whatever. Um, you can see the little hole there and then goes in there. The washer doesn't even fit properly. You know how it is. Amazon junk. but. I'm going to toss it in and see what happens. First thing I'm going to do is tighten up the primary because I 100% forgot to do that. It's all like, it's all loose still, but, and then we'll take off the secondary, we'll pop this in there and hopefully it fixes my check engine light. That was pretty self-explanatory. The 22 mil wrench ah, fit right on here to tighten that down and then, uh, that just fits in there 90 degrees and we'll reset my ECU and see if that fixes it. I was gonna stop but I think I'm just gonna drain the transmission fluid because why not? Oh man! Now I haven't changed this transmission fluid since I bought the car so I don't know if this is gonna be bad or good but or if anything's even gonna come out Oh boy. See more? I don't know, trans fluid looks okay, but I'm gonna try the sink roll mesh. Coming. Got the transmission fluid all out, the old stuff, and I got the drain plug torqued back up. Just gonna lower the car now. Figure out how we're gonna fill the drain plug. I already got the intake box out. I should change this filter too, it's kinda nasty. And this is where a hoist would be so nice because I'm sure it's easier to grab that from the bottom, but I got my socket on there. Uh, right there on the drain fill bolt. I just gotta get a ratchet in there and take it out now. So, got my arms shoved all the way in there, and you know how it is. You know how it is. Oh, uh, that hurt. So, well, here's the AC Delco synchro mesh. This next part is gonna be kind of nasty. I'll be using this. Oh, you're not getting. Yeah, see, there's, there's a little pump in here. Siphoning pump and I'm gonna be using that to pump the transmission fluid into the fill bolt hole And it's gonna get pretty messy. I don't want to get the camera all dirty So I'm just gonna cut back on as soon as all this is back together and uh, Hopefully no check engine light. Hopefully tie rod noise gone and hopefully me happy So let's do that as promised it got super messy oil oil Love it. So I'll just go ahead and try to clean all that off and then put the fill bolt back in, put it all back. So that was the end of that maintenance for this time. I think next time I want to do my TSX uh, big break, big break upgrade. Um, I got TSX calipers and TSX um, rotors to go on. I think that's a pretty easy uh, install. But yeah, thanks for tuning in on this little maintenance sesh. Definitely well overdue. The oil was like disgusting. Uh, that's my fault. I'm sorry. And uh, yeah, so yeah, check out the Air Maxes. This thing is fire. Let's get this thing out of here.